So if you'll think back to my initial introduction video, um, you might remember that this past summer I spent at um, the Fauna Foundation, which is a chimpanzee sanctuary in Canada just outside of Montreal. And so I have a really big passion and love for great apes. Those great apes are chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos. And I wanted to go and experience a sanctuary environment. Um, and so I interned there. And part of the animals they have there, two of them, were actually from the one of the original signing ape experiments. And so Tatu and Lulis are at this place in Canada, and they are from the beginning studies of language in non-human primates. And so they know American Sign Language. And your textbook talks about um, Coco, who is pictured here, um, who is actually a gorilla, not a chimpanzee, and Washo, who is a chimpanzee, the mother, adoptive mother of Lulis and um, matriarch um, Tatatu. And your book very briefly mentions, um, and if you're not part of the class, what I say when I mean the, the book is this textbook here. And so it kind of briefly mentions um, Coco and Washo as being able to use sign language and um, spells Washo's name correctly, which is not done in other textbooks I've used, um, and really shows that they do think of these studies as legitimate, which is good because they are legitimate science. Um, and so I'm really happy with their mentioning of grade 8 studies and language studies. But I want to go into more detail. Number one, because it's something I'm very interested in. Number two, because I think students find it very interesting. I get a lot of good feedback. Um, and number three, it really opens people's minds up to um, the intelligence and beauty of these creatures that we are often exploiting for um, medical research and our entertainment in either TV, movies, um, zoo environments, and things like that. So I like to talk about this. Um, it's something I'm very passionate about, and I think it's good for students to see their instructors be passionate about something. And it's something that I hope to use anthropology in combination with um, animal studies of some sort to advocate for these species and study the um, relationship between great apes and humans. So um, I think it's very interesting, and I think students like to talk about it. So. Um, if you're taking the class, you'll see um, after this video, we'll go into some more detail about the language studies, and then I'm going to have some video clips for you that I think really exemplify um, great ape language use and sign language in great apes. Um, some are short, some are long. Um, if you're just watching these videos on YouTube and working your way through the course that way, I suggest you um, search on YouTube for um, Washo signing, Coco signing, um, Tatu and Lulis, um, and the gardeners are the um, people really involved, and then Roger Fouts as well. So if you're interested in this topic, or you want to see how language is used um, among primates, um, then do some research on your own as well. Um, I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised with the um, studies and the intelligence of these wonderful animals. So. Um, we'll pause for a moment here, and then the next video we'll pick up starting with the history of language use studies um, in non-human primates.